In 1985, I had put together a three-piece original Boston band with Somerville, Massachusetts-based guitarist Arthur Lever, known as Infamous Arthur, and drummer Joseph Thomas Jr., also known as Little Joe. The band even came complete with a band manager, Big Joe Thomas, who was Little Joe's father. I was in my 20s still, trying to make it as a pseudo-songwriter keyboard player. Infamous Arthur, 19 at the time, left another Somerville-based band to join forces with me in the creative effort. While Little Joe, just 15 at the time, seemed to be a child prodigy on the drums. At least he seemed to be able to give the Y-axis originals the constant it needed. Now Big Joe Thomas, the band manager, was a former musician from the 60s. And he had a lot of connections around Boston, both in the music biz and probably other unscrupulous places. But he helped Y-Axis and his son Little Joe get started by delivering us all to a Boston recording studio engineered by Larry Lessard, another friend of a friend of a friend of band manager Big Joe Thomas. It was a different scene in Boston in 1985. It was the new wave era, punk was in, rock remained, and hip hop and rap were on the horizon. It seemed like the atmosphere was right for just about any kind of new music to take a stab at making it here. Together as songwriters for the band, myself and infamous author brought three new songs to the studio that somehow we thought we could kick out in one session. They were titled, All Through the Night, written by Peter Keyes, Two Night, written by infamous author, and You Must Believe, written by Peter Keyes. 16 hours later, and with only two and a half songs recorded, we all discovered the time-consuming nature of laying down tracks in the recording studio. Because band manager Big Joe Thomas had just recently purchased his first video camcorder and had videotaped the haphazard experience, 20 years later, we are able to revisit the sights and sounds of that day in 1985. Twenty-two. Friends, the cars, Jerry, Beatles, and 
coming up during this show, a band that uh, nobody would dare play for BCN. I mean, in 1977, this band changed the entire face of the music for him. In large part, it's lost. Who are you today? today? Try it out. Uh, go for it, man. Ooh. Between playing the drums for Y Axis or becoming Bat Boy for the Boston Red Sox, Little Joe chose Bat Boy over the band. Here is Little Joe performing his duties from the visiting team, Kansas City, at Fenway Park in Boston in 1985. Later, Little Joe would come to find out what he missed about music as Y Axis became a two piece without him. But the 16 hour marathon studio session that Larry Lassard mixed down produced a result that was sent out to Boston radio stations and used as the Y-Access demo throughout 1985 and 1986. Here are those mixed downs.
Would you say, Larry? You want to tape it now? Can, can you run back the other lead vocal for me? I know, but I'm, you know what I'm afraid of is that uh, if I'm off even a little bit, I won't be able to compensate to get them together, you know? Yeah, we'll like my knees. Yeah, okay, that's good. Oh, excuse me. I'm right off the shoulder. A little more time. Ooh, look at that. Don't forget, the thing is kind of like that. Hell, let me just go. Yeah, man. That's it, because see what that's that song, Rock and Roll, what? Tonight? Oh, that song, first song? I'd feel mysterious. Would it come off better if I just had time to warm up my fingers? It's the second, third time. I'm going to keep on thinking it was Peter in my head. I'm going to yell at you. Okay, we're all looking for perfection. No one's gonna yell, man. We're looking for one, A1, Boston bass, Boston control, Boston lead, Boston rock, rock and roll. Yeah. Yeah, all the guitars that Yeah, that, that's gotta go. That's all that leads. All right, Pete, if you say so. Gotta go, man. That's good. Just cut it from the harmonic. I don't know. I don't know. How did that? Yeah. The only thing that's wrong is the harmonic. Daniel. That's yeah. fantastic. That's second song, man. All right. I, I can't hear you. What? Yeah. Okay, ready? Right. Ready from the top again. Yeah? Okay, all set? Thank you.
Many of the theme songs for this television program were written and produced by Peter Keyes Berwin who writes songs before they become hits for the commercial music industry. Now with over 400 songs in catalog unpublished and available, stream Peter Keyes Berwin music at any of the websites shown on the screen. This program was partially produced in cooperation with the New England Music Mill Rehearsal Complex, the home of many of New England's premier bands and musicians. For band and musician rehearsal space, contact the phone number or website shown on the screen.